Hi Star Seeds, welcome back. So today we're gonna be making banana cake. Now, this is the ultimate comfort food. I promise you, this is one of the best banana cake recipes that I've conjured up. I have made quite a few on my channel previously, but this is my favorite one. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Now, before we get into the recipe, don't forget to like and subscribe, and don't forget to share the recipe with your loved ones. So let's get in the kitchen and let's get baking. So we're gonna start with our dry ingredients. The first thing you're gonna do is add in two cups of almond flour, followed by a half cup of oats. Now, if you want gluten-free banana cake, these have to be gluten-free oats. We have a quarter cup of tapioca flour and a third cup of gluten-free oat flour, half a cup of desiccated coconut, and we're adding in two teaspoons of baking soda, a tablespoon of cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. So now with a wooden spoon, you're gonna mix this all up. So all of the ingredients are combined very well and the cinnamon is distributed and the baking soda and salt are distributed evenly. So once that's done, you're gonna set it aside and take another bowl. So I've got these beautiful ripe bananas here and we're gonna need two large bananas or three small bananas, okay? So what I like to do is use my knuckles to mash these. I can't be bothered to use a fork because it just takes much longer. Just make sure your hands are clean and go in there with your knuckles and mash these babies up. See, so much easier. So to the mashed banana, we're gonna be adding a quarter cup of coconut oil. Just add that in. Half a cup of agave nectar. Oh yes. You can use any sweetener you like, but I just love this raw agave nectar, it's delicious. A tablespoon of raw apple cider vinegar. So we're gonna be making a flax egg. So to a bowl or mug, you're gonna add in a quarter cup of flax seeds and three quarters of a cup of water. And you're just gonna stir it up. Let it sit for about five minutes. And this will be our flax egg. After five minutes, you're going to pour the flax egg into the mixture. And using a whisk, you're going to whisk all of the ingredients up slowly until it's nice and smooth and creamy. If you didn't melt your coconut oil, you might have some chunks, but don't worry about that. You're just gonna stir it up until everything is combined and your coconut oil will melt. So now we're going to marry the dry ingredients into the wet. And you can do that slowly, so at this point, you can stir it up a bit. And now we're going to add the rest of the dry ingredients. So you wanna stir this up until all the ingredients are combined. And then we're gonna be adding some cacao nibs to this to make it even more delicious. So I'm gonna be adding in some cacao nibs here. Now, you can add as much as you want. I'm not really measuring this. But also, if you don't have cacao nibs, you can add in regular chocolate. So once again, you're just gonna stir this up. You could really get creative and add whatever you want. You can even add walnuts or pecans, but I'm just gonna keep mine simple. So I've placed some parchment paper on my baking tray, and I'm gonna take the mixture and just pour it in. Oh yeah. So at this point, we're just gonna smooth it out like so. Make sure that it's nice and even, so it bakes evenly. So I've just sliced up some banana lengthwise, and I'm just going to place it on top and just press it down a little bit. So adding banana on top of your cake will just give it that extra sweetness in a natural way. We're gonna pop this in the oven for 35 minutes at 170 degrees Celsius. So they're out of the oven and I cut them into cute little squares and now I'm just going to dig in. So these are really soft and moist and melt in your mouth slices. Mm, I can't wait. So we hope you enjoyed this recipe and I hope during your days of isolation that you make this banana cake because it's so comforting and it's highly nutritious as well. So. By the way, if you haven't subscribed, I hope you do subscribe to our channel because we are here so many times a week giving you amazing plant-based recipes just for you. So, hope to see you next time.